Guys, I had a dream in the last seven days. And in it, God showed me and basically instructed me in a visual symbolic way to upload the video prior to this one. It's half an hour long. But it's really important because it explains how the modern monetary system that operates globally is a giant kind of bait and switch Ponzi scheme. And it's, it's not what people think it is. And I will put a link to a previous episode of this series from this guy, great guy. He's great. Uh, and I've actually bought silver in the past, physical silver from him in the past. And it was, it had no problems. They had excellent customer service. They're a really good company, goldsilver.com. So goldsilver.com is Mike Maloney's company. He did this, made the series, The uh, Hidden Secrets of Money. I'll put a link to one of the earlier episodes from his channel in the description box below. And in that episode, he explains the difference between money and currency. So the American dollar, the Canadian dollar, the Australian dollar, the New Zealand dollar, the British pound, the euro, the South African rand, etc., etc. None of them are technically, technically none of these are money. It's just currency. So have a look at that one too, and he'll explain the difference. And you need to know this because I don't want to get too much into the conspiracy reality not theory of it because it's not a conspiracy theory and uh you know fun fun tip for those of you who are not aware the term conspiracy theory was actually coined by the cia in the in the mid 20th century to socially ostracize people to shut down criticism and questioning of official government narratives to basically prevent free thinking and keep people keep people's thinking you know corralled in groupthink yeah, so there's certain things, yeah, if you talk about some things, you're a conspiracy theorist, theorist or it's because they don't want you talking about them, or you, you might want to consider why that is. You, you only attack what threatens you the most. So typically when you see the mainstream media getting upset and um, calling people conspiracy theorists, it's because it, it's true. <laughs> okay? And if, if you start talking about how the central banks are owned, privately owned by the Rothschilds, which they are, and private families... Yeah, they'll call you a conspiracy theorist. And they don't say they're owned by the Rothschilds in, in this video, but they're, they're owned by certain private families. And it's a giant scam. And they ex the video, ex and most importantly, so I think this was why God was instructing me. I do get instructions from God directly on what to do with this channel, videos to put up thumbnail images to use, things I should talk about in the future, many things that I'm not even going to talk about here to do because they're big and to do with the future development of the channel. But I think this is why God told me to upload this video is because people, God wants people to know as much, as many of you as possible to understand that inflation is a scam and it's not what you're told in the mainstream media. And it's really simple. It's just an expansion of the currency supply and rising prices are just a symptom. So it's basically a consequence of printing lots of fake paper money. They, they, but it, he goes through and explains all of it in the video. And why do you need to know this? Well, because I haven't talked about this yet, but I've had some prophetic dreams about how the New Zealand dollar will collapse in the future. Same with the American dollar. All the Western fiat currencies are going to collapse they're all, we're, it's not the inflation's not going to get better, like some of the mainstream media papers in our countries are saying, newspapers are saying. It's going to get worse, and then it's going to, our, our currency is going to completely collapse. And so you need to understand the danger, and then you un, and once you know the danger, then you can. Oh, this this is really funny ancient Chinese quote which I love, and it, it says it's it's something like, uh, I think it's like a mantis, as in a praying mantis, trying to stop a chariot. This is never going to happen. You're just going to get squashed. And I had my own little intuitive insight about this six years ago when I was living in Australia and I would see cars that would run over cane toads and the smart cane toads would hop out of the way. And but then you get other cane toads that would just sit there looking at the headlights and then gets like as the car came towards them calmly and then get run over and get squashed. Well, if you don't understand how this thing works, you're going to be like the mantis 
waving your legs, getting crushed, then getting crushed by the chariot, or you're going to be like that cane toad under the wheels of a four-wheel drive in northern New South Wales and Australia, all right? It's, it's a scam. To take a quote from the American TV series, critically acclaimed, The Wire, the game is rigged, man, but you cannot lose if you do not play. So don't play the game. You got Or you're going to get wiped out financially, all right? And then you'll have no money. And without money, you've got no options. Money creates options and freedom. Yeah, if you've got no money, you've got no options, and then you're screwed, all right? Story time. My family is old money. Great, great. I'll oh, see if I can do this in 90 minutes to 90 seconds to two minutes. Otherwise, it'll blow it out. All right. My great, great, great grandfather came out from England to New Zealand in 1841. He was a shopkeeper in Wellington for a short amount of time, only about a year, then got bored of it. He, then he went over the mountain ranges, the Rimatakas, to the southern wider upper region, leased a pit parcel of land called Whatarangi Station from local Māori. Long story short, made a ton of money and got because he got in on the wool boom in the 1850s. In fact, he made so much money that he was able to buy a constellation of large parcels of land throughout the lower North Island. My family is actually historically one of the wealthiest in the southern half of the North Island. Um, we, we even owned a mansion called Fernside, which was actually used as a set in the Lord of the Rings films. And my grandfather was one of the businessmen who set up the, the Wellington Cable Car, which is an icon of that city. He also helped donate land for the university <laughs> that I went to. It's crazy. So there's pluses and minuses about that. Um, but, but the, the, the end result was my father was the first in six generations who needed to work. My grandfather on my paternal line, my dad's dad, my you know, grandfather on my dad's side, he didn't need to work. My dad was the first in six generations who needed to. There's still a little bit of that wealth left in a farm and now my family is tearing itself apart because in greed over who gets what because they've got no morals and principles and that's partly why I'm in the mess I'm in. But fun times. Why do I bring this up? Well, uh, Oh, and by the way, I'm not a spoiled brat. My dad had, <laughs> they've got spoiled brats in my family, cousins who are spoiled rotten, like the sons of um, Emirates, uh, of like you know, oil tycoons in the Middle East. But uh, my dad worked every day in his life and he chose, chose not to take a cent in rental income from his portion of the farm that he owned. Um, he actually took a hit so that other family members could run it and they, they just exploited it for corrupt purposes. So I grew up uh, middle class and yeah, so I didn't see any of that wealth. So I'm not spoiled, but I have members of my family who are. So just in case anyone wants to go pointy fingers. Right. There's a point to all this. Jersey solution, all right? So oh, my family was old money. So my, my grandfather, uh, at the beginning of World War II, they knew they actually had pop, multiple properties in different parts of the world. And uh, they were living on Jersey in the Channel Islands at the time. And they knew that the Germans were coming and that the Germans were going to take the Channel Islands. And my family, because they were wealthy, they had the option to leave and travel to the other side of the world to their other prop to one of their other properties in New Zealand. So my grandfather, they never got to experience any of the horrors of being under the under enemy occupation in a war. They had the option to leave. Why did they have the option? Because they had money. Money creates options. If you've got no money, you've got no options. You don't want to be stuck in our countries when we're about to be invaded and not have any, enough money to be able to have the option to leave and to emigrate. That's what I call the Jersey solution, all right? Gold and silver are your first go-to options to get out of the scam. Beyond that, you need to do your own research. But please, you need to educate yourself, otherwise you're gonna get wiped out and you're gonna get slaughtered financially, and then you might get slaughtered literally in World War, in World War III. Thank you.